Okay, okay. Where are we going in this thing? That's the question. <laughs> it's been like four days since I've been home. So now I forget what I was doing and I forget what the buttons are. Deep nest down there. Uh, and I marked some stuff up there. I had to do something to my controller, and I forget how, so I'm gonna have to look it up real quick. My, uh, my adapter has this thing where it switches the buttons around. And I forget what buttons that is. Starting to be for three seconds. Yeah, now we're good. Now I may begin. I'll start by going left here. Forget how the hell I dash. There it is, L2. What? That's all it was. I mean, okay. I'm not sure where to go. Thought that was a lead. I marked it. Down there is two that I thought could be something.
I don't know what that is. I forget exactly what it was that was holding me back. I need to go down here. I know you can reach those three bosses. I remember that element of this. I just don't have any idea how. That's an issue. I'm in the wrong tunnel here. I wonder if I can just go left. I was over there and I just didn't take the right turn, I guess. Didn't see it. Where is this door? Time stalker. Invisible dead. Here's my doors. I didn't check these out. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. break on damage. I 
I can't go that way. How <sighs> do I get through, man? Hmm. Well, that's a bust. Where to then? I have no idea if I've done these trees that are marked. I want to say that I haven't, but these trees are unclear. So I guess I can keep going down and check whatever that is, maybe. Breaking on death isn't too bad. I don't I don't die. That's that's just money. That's pretty neat. If that's what it is, I'll just put that on later. When I'm back up there, I'll buy the other two. I'm trying to collect those. So I get in there. It's so annoying that I can't jump off the wall faster. <sighs> A mashing jump, but it's not working. It's so picky. Down, poor guy. Thanks for the sub. Wow. 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 Hell's Fog Canyon. I don't think I've ever gone that way. And that plant is looking really far right now, so... I think I went the wrong way to get there. I mean, I could go left and down and... I'll do that first. I'll stick to my goal. Wandering around in the uh, zone I've been through a hundred times. Nothing too exciting right now. This thing, though. You don't like them. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, they they should have been on to begin with. I don't know. I like it's just backtracking nonsense. If they were just on when I got here, we wouldn't have anything but a bonus challenge for money or whatever. That would be fine. That's not what it is though. It's me coming back through the room just to see it. I can't reach that door, so that's wrong. So I regret coming this way. Uh, except for the tree, so at least it wasn't a total loss. Ooh. 
This connects to these two areas on the left, Deep Nest, which I've already been through and didn't get anything out of, so I don't think I did it completely. And then there's this fog canyon that I don't remember at all, so... I guess I'll keep going this way. They give you... something. Some NPC wants 200 of them for something new, I don't know what it is. I don't remember. It's basically currency for one specific NPC. Is the Nintendo eShop down for anyone else? I know they had a storm out there. So I figure that's what's up. And that's why I can't connect. I don't have the map for this place still. I can't even log in. Maybe it hates my network or something. Oh boy. I can't dash through here either. What do they want from me? What is this place? Why, can, why can't I just have the map for it? I think this is the biggest offender. People have come in here and they're like, oh yeah, this map. So I think I'm not the only one who gets ridiculously confused by why I can't just have the map in this place yet. I'm not understanding why an early place. This is like area three. Where is it? I don't know where to go, and I need it now. Because I feel like this is the place that I should be in. There's a boss in this area somewhere. These bombs, man. Like, I can hear this asshole, but he's on the other side of a wall. Uh, maybe now that I have my charge attack, I can break it or something? Nope. What is this? <laughs> it's so... annoying. It's in the way. 100%. How did he get over there? I think the worst thing about it is that he continues to sing and not show up in the store so I can't go buy his map. The, the backup system is not working either for it. It's because I haven't unlocked the way to wherever he is yet. And I can't even see right now. I'm here to see. How the fuck do I get over there? I think I need to be able to swim first and go across where that red thing is. So that tree did not get turned off on the minimap when I finished it. Maybe I have to sit down first. Let me check. I want to know that that's not the case. Okay, it's gone. Good. That means there's a tree over there. I can go get real quick while I think about what to do. I have no idea. There's that, uh, that I marked. 
I don't know what's on that bench that I marked there. I guess I can check that tree and check that at the same time. It's in the City of Tears. I don't know what that could possibly be. Uh, whatever that is, I don't have it. It's some kind of key. I remember that. You go to this place, I guess. Let me do that first. I didn't have my lamp when I went there the first time. I honestly feel like I'd almost be better off mapping it myself with a pen and paper. Uh, right now, especially in this area that I just don't have a map for. At least then I'd know what the hell these things are that I, uh... Have left behind and why I left them behind. I marked these, I can't write on the map, so it's... I think Aquaria had the best map system I've ever seen, where it's a Metroidvania auto map, like usual, but you can write... 300 characters anywhere you want. You can just click on it and be like, yeah... I would write notes like, fucking weird ass tunnel here, motherfucker. Do I need a shark or something? <laughs> it's just long sentences, and I would always know exactly what I was talking about because I did that. It was nice. And that game was like 88% exploration, 2% fighting, and like, I don't know. 10% story? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> 300 letters per note, the window's loaded. Oh. Well, Metroidvania is like Aquaria. And this are built around the idea of having uh, return visits and weird obstacles that you don't understand what the solution to them is until you get the power. And then you're supposed to be like, oh yeah, I'll go back. But if you don't remember, and especially if you do it over a period of weeks instead of days or hours, the game, you're especially not going to remember where that stuff is. You need a map to help track that. Aquaria solved it by letting you just write everywhere. Not only was there a weird looking thing on the map, like an uncleared room, there's also your big honking note that said what the hell was stopping you and in your own words trying to describe it. I missed something. I hate that when I fall and the... this game seems to like to do that a lot too. I didn't fall to the right, so now whatever's over there I missed. Locked out. Not like I said, in like Aquarius, like ninety percent exploration, five percent battle. <laughs> this is like, I like it, but it's really slow, and it's not really my kind of game. 
it came out at a time where there really wasn't a lot of indie metroidvanias, so it's popular because of that. But it was a good enough game. I'd spend a lot of time cooking and looking around and just running from enemies, really. You only have one attack for most of the game. Oh shit, what's going on? Where am I? I feel like I, I um, wasted a bunch of time there if I reconnected somewhere. Falling there early. I'll get your stuff to you in the chat uh, that you're in for RK Pit tomorrow. So this is the part of Deep Nest I guess I just didn't find when I came through. I didn't fall in that pit. So that was kind of a big important pit to to locate actually. The entire zone is down here it looks like. The rest of it was nonsense and didn't do anything for me at all actually. Where am I going? What the? Can I jump through or not? <laughs> what are you doing? that thing Looks like I might have to come in from the left or something. It's my B. What's up? Maybe I need this for the other tram that wouldn't come. What's going on, Gloss? Thanks for the sub. Cool. 
Got me some soul hearts. Okay. I missed a drop over there. Apparently. The background uh, spiders falling is weird looking. Okay. I don't think this is the guy I'm looking for. I don't remember what you get for fighting these guys. I think you just get more of the, um, the tree stone stuff. But at least it's a boss and not just, uh, running through the same room already done. Oh. Oh, that's an orb. Aggressive orb. Orb's the boss. I just don't have an opportunity to heal much. I'm glad they're not instant death, but I certainly wish they didn't warp me back after they got me to some random place 10 seconds ago.
no idea. I feel like I go back down right. Guardian. Dude takes a million hits. Oh my god, he hits so hard too. spikes really weird that they warp you back like that it's really strange play too many nes games to deal with spikes like this is this just that power up i thought i found one of the boss arenas i was looking for well hey It's a tree. Might as well do this while I explore the place. I think this door is where I go next, but I'm not gonna go there yet because I got a tree to deal with. I guess I could also go up there.
I'm not sure what way I even came in. There are four exits. Oh, jeez. What the hell, man? What a frustrating enemy. He's a brick wall. You cannot go through him. Go drag him out here. Has arrived. Thanks for the sub. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Would have been nice if they put me back up top. It seems like the spikes never put me where I want to be. This tree has a lot of orbs on it. So when the trees go wild like this and they spit a huge room full of orbs, I'm missing one or two now. Where are they? I might be here a while looking for those. I think. That was it. That was the last one. I waited to come here until uh, I had the lamp and the tree ready to go. The tree, more importantly, than the lamp, honestly. What do we got here? Got it. Hello, friends.
Okay, now where am I? <laughs> Jeez, Boogie Boy, oh my god. Ten subs. That'll be my life for a while. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a ton. I want to, uh, we do have the ability, I said this earlier, somebody gifted a sub, I have the ability to make a sub gift alert and not have that set off 10 times. Just play that one instead. Don't have it done yet. We have an idea of what we want to do. Oh boy. I guess I don't understand how you fight this guy at all. Why is it here? <laughs> hey. Ah. Way to mix in that, uh, that long sub. In the middle of that. Yep. I figured that would happen. Couldn't see where that enemy was. What a pain in the ass. It's all because of this guy up here. Oh my god, this enemy sucks! The anti-fun guy. What is this? Why does he hit for two? I'm so impatient with this guy. I know, because I've been bouncing on him, exactly how many hits he actually takes. So I'm way too impatient for this. <laughs> Profay, thanks for the sub too. I don't know about any dive. Got the upgraded sword. What's this? Rolling right along. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most people think that this is the worst zone in this game. Yeah, I can see how you'd come to that conclusion pretty easily. Mutagen, what's going on?
I don't really mind the darkness part of it, honestly. I don't think that's my problem here. It's just... I mean, this enemy here is the worst part of it, easily. I mean, I don't like this guy at all. <laughs> Why does he have to have so much HP? How about five hits? Why 12 or whatever? I've already hit him with three fireballs and two swings, and he's still alive. Three. Ah. He hits ridiculously hard, too. Was he guarding? What is this? Oh my god, stop it. Let me sit there. Is that really the map for this place? Come on. How about some detail? Looks to me like I'm done here. And... Arrow, son, what's going on? So, um, did I beef it there? No, that's a new door. Uh, up top is a door, too. I wanted to check that first. Oh, well. They've restricted my wall climbing. Art bear, son, home. Hits. Now you can get here with a weaker version of the sword than that. So 12 hits upgraded. It's crazy. It's insane. That was super tanky. I don't know where I'm at. I climb back out, it looks like. I've not gone this way yet.
Dr. Wiley came through here and just spiked up the whole hallway. Oh. Of course. Well, that dude's up there, I guess. I think I need to go left here and not down that way. Oh man. Couldn't cancel my dash in time. So this whole path is just to get back up there, I guess. It's just a bunch of nothing. Because they wanted to uh, make the wall not jumpable. So now you can understand my complaints about this area. It's been like this most of the way. They gave me an ability and they're taking it away. And the reason why they're doing it is just to annoy me. It's not because of anything interesting. It's the vertical platforming problem. But an indie game like this doesn't need to have that problem. It's not limited by 512 by 448 resolution. Okay, let's try this again and not use dash. All this pain would have been averted if I had just gone up here first before I even went in there. What is up here? <laughs> Pay for it, Ben. Actually, the bench is broken. I got a warp first. But uh, the warp is open, so there's that. That's done. We got a lot of money out of that. But I didn't um, save the dude who was caught in the web over there.
I mean, usually when a game takes away wall jumping, it's because it's involved in some kind of puzzle or something interesting stage-wise that they had to... I guess a good example off the top of my head, Vimersalation Alpha did it so that they could, at the end of the game, add DLC that was as hard as the game was originally, without having you be unstoppable. Uh, Breath of the Wild did it in all the shrine dungeons to keep you from cheating. They made you do the puzzle that was there. But we don't have a puzzle, we just have an obnoxious zone that punishes you for falling. They forgot to put a shortcut through. I don't know where I'm going anymore. I don't know if I want to go back to Deep Nest or not. I got the railway ticket. I guess I do want to go back there because I'm not done there. Why, why break the bench if I'm able to warp? It doesn't serve any hindrance. Uh, I can go right from that bench. Well, the trap comes before that, though. <laughs> I might be the the fool here, but I, I wager that the majority of people sat on their fake bench before going up that way. Especially because we don't have a map, and we don't know that there's going to be a station up there, really. I figured the sign was to that. I mean, everybody in the world would be suspicious of that bench, but I don't think it would stop you from sitting at it. Well, because you can't do anything else there. What, are you going to just leave? Come back later? I, I doubt it. I doubt that most people would do that. I'm going to check out the bottom right there. I didn't see that sign until I climbed up there. I don't know what that sign is. Is that a uh, TNT cube from a uh, coyote cartoon?
<laughs> I guess I should um, blindly place a marker telling me that there's a, there's a shadow zone in my way and I don't know what it is. What's that? <laughs> uh, sauna sign? I wish I had saved the guy up there because now I feel like I have to go find him. Couldn't figure it out and I'm gonna backtrack that whole place just for that. Where are we? Yeah, I've been here before. Can't do anything here. Clunky, clunky enemies. Just my uh, thing. Those are the least colorful, if those are bees, the least colorful of all time. I do believe, I don't remember much about this game, I do believe that there was a hive for them around someplace, and it took me a game fact to find it, because it was in some hidden wall or something. I got, I got legit stuck looking for it. So I, I know that that's a thing. There's a door to it somewhere that's just... cannot find. And I don't know that I'm in that area or not. I feel like they had the opportunity, after all this time, to make a really colorful enemy in the bees, and they did not do it. That makes me a bit sad. It could have been this incredible yellow color.
Maybe my character's eyes are just broken and this is his point of view. Everything's uh very dark because he's bad at accepting light and he's also colorblind. Six hits. That little circle of um, energy is really poor. It's way worse than I, I thought I doubled my mana. I, I, I thought I doubled my mana and that even that wasn't that overpowered. But what I've actually done is like... Gotten one third of a bar that fills up after I wait, after it empties. It's much less impressive. I don't think I'll bother with those upgrades. Unless they're nothing else to buy. Oh boy, the big boy. I got as many sword upgrades as I currently can. I'm missing like a secret item to get the next one. Wow. The triple spitter. Thanks for the sub. I do need one pale of war. Time to grind, I guess. Thirty cheese. Man, that's slow. Come on. Give me my money's worth on these swings. I better fight something else. For as many as they, they take, I expected to get 100.
What is this? For the shadow gate. Walking my path. That should be just about it here. Turn around and get my sword art. Oh, it hit me. <laughs> Wasted things with sub. Year. grab that I guess so that I mean I'm gonna have to <laughs> where am I I don't know where else to go here anyway I'll leave Doesn't seem like it's opening up much for me. Maybe when I get the shadow power or whatever, I can do something here. on this boys for 30 two cents a hit hey huh got not my truth I don't know if it's worth it. I guess if uh, the damage is there. Maybe if I dash slash on this guy. If it only doubles it, I'd say no. It's not. It's a pain in the ass to get it to work. <laughs> I'd rather just not use it. But we have it. In case I do feel like using it. I guess, like, the, the case for it would be, like, if I can't 
get a regular swing in very easily because the range on it is huge, so that's nice. I do have the regular charge. I forgot I had that. I haven't used it since I logged in. Yeah, you have no swing time, so it's like you can just... In the time it takes to charge, I could swing three times. So it's a very... It wouldn't be good against these guys. Not really. You better just do that. Maybe you could use against that spider jerk in the tunnel. Who I'm already done with forever. Probably. <laughs> Well, that was one path. We're back here. Ah, I hear you. What an enemy. Uh, I hope this is the right place. Oh, hello. Why are you here? I thought I was up in a tree. I've returned. Okay, so there's a shortcut down there that I'll forget about, but for now, I know about it. Presently. That stupid wall with these tiles, if I remember. Uh, I could go all the way up there, I guess, as an th option. Like I said, though, and it kind of makes me want to stop playing. I do want to, <laughs> I do want to go to Deep Nest and save the dude that I saw. He's in here somewhere, and I didn't figure out how to get to him. So now I feel like I should backtrack to that dumbass area just to do that. I feel like he's over here somewhere. In this vicinity. I feel like he'd have to be in that vicinity because... That was before I fell down here and did all this. I want to play this this game that everyone's enjoying called The Messenger on Switch, but I couldn't buy it, so I, I loaded this up instead. Oh, there's an enemy. One of those three is right there. Oh, wait a second. I did... <laughs> I'm looking for these bosses, and I found one, and I didn't get it to start the fight. That was what that thing was, I guess. I'm confused now. 
about how I even get that fight to begin. Switch game, I'll have fun probably. I don't think I've bought one on the Switch yet that I didn't like. I have a bunch of these to turn out over this real quick. What do we got? Ah, uh, upgrade. I didn't want to spoil any of it, so I didn't watch it. Oh, well, that sucked. Just thanks for the sub. That's why we're here. Thirteen spooky months with Smile TV. Did even in the graveyard.
the big boy. <laughs> Boss. Ah. And here I thought I was done. Nah. times. Oh, I'm still missing one. This is DLC. I remember doing this. Let's go save that dude in Deep Nest, I guess. <laughs> Queen Station is the warp I want. I guess before I do that I should, um... Upgrade my sword again. I probably don't have the money. Worry about it later.
This looks correct. Okay. Where the hell am I? Okay. Down for a while. Um, to answer any DLC questions, I don't think I've seen anything that hasn't been in the original game, except for like maybe an NPC or two uh, here and there. Uh, I haven't noticed anything that felt like it was new. Most of it seems familiar to me. I don't know what the DLC is, but I figure it's all in the game stuff. the hell is this? Let me through. Map markers. I could have sworn I had those. How do I go left? What the hell? Do I have to go down all the way and then left? I don't know where he's at. He could be up above me, after all I know. I didn't have a map for the rest of the time here. I should have marked it, I guess. Well, down I go. Oh my. Well, I'm on my way. Up there. What 
there he is. How do I get in there now? That's the question. Kronos. Thanks for the sub. And to the left, I can go around. Zelda wallet. Mission complete. Now I head down and to the left. I'll get those to you tonight. Actually. The other dilemma is that I would like to, to rescue him. Done. I didn't have dash, I guess, when I came through here, or I didn't notice him. Man! I wouldn't- I even tried to jump and it just wouldn't let me. Let me try again. like me jumping there. <laughs> 30. Thank you. 
Ugh. Damn. I know better than to dash here now. I've learned my lesson about trying to be fast. Oh, the boss that is in here. I don't understand how you get it to start. They marked it, so I'm sure I'm able to do it. Now we can go get our sword upgrade, probably. There's a tree. I'll do that while I'm here. Sure. Love to do tree quest. That makes these rooms make a lot more sense now that they have tree tree bubbles in them. Tree off the list. Sign means nothing to me. I assume it's blacksmith. I'm back. Took me a while. Ah, uh, Ranjo Stenja. I figured. Mm. That I'd need some money. I didn't expect them to be so mean about it, though. So much grinding. Fine. I'm not leaving without it, so. Let's get killing things. Pointlessly expensive. Gotta kill a couple enemies here and there. Guys worth ten. They fall in the the muck. I don't get anything. I think I'm good to just kill those guys on the way back, and I'll have it.
almost. Two power. <laughs> Did he even upgrade it? He's not killing that guy any faster. That guy dies faster. Some enemies die faster, some still take the same number of hits. Okay, where's the warp from here? What the hell is that red thing up there? I need a key or something? I don't think I have it. I don't think I'm, I've got the key I'm looking for. It's a marker that I put there to mark a door that was locked, I'm pretty sure. there. Did you guys with sub? I just felt like ringing that bell, I guess. I didn't have to, I don't think. Well... I'm gonna get my groups ready for tomorrow night. We got two arcade pit matches. No AI arena, I don't think. I'll host over to Tai Tuesday. I'm gonna try and buy the messenger and if I can get it. Maybe I'll play it tomorrow night. I'm not sure. See you later, everybody. Thanks for coming by. I've been doing a lot of work on some stuff for the show. It won't be ready tomorrow, but Sunday maybe we'll have it ready. It's pretty nice. Shaping up to be pretty nice. It's been a lot of work. Ridiculous. Uh, considering it's all off-stream, not paid for kind of work. I mean, it is and it isn't. Patreon and stuff, I feel like, funds that kind of project. But I've spent an ungodly amount of time preparing this stuff, so... Looking forward to showing it off. Anyway, see you later.